Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you the division using a Nikhilam Sutra, which means all from 9 last from 10. That is the meaning of this Sutra, Nikhilam Sutra. And here the condition is the divisors that you take, it should be near to the base value. This is applicable, this particular sutra is applicable when the numbers are near to the base value. What happens if it is a little far from the base value? For example, in this part, if I had 4, so if I take it like 10 as the base, then I have to convert it into 6 and then I have to do the multiplication in this particular division, which is of no use. Like we can do this number divided by 4 directly. But when we use the Nikhilam Sutra for the numbers near to the base, the calculation will become much more simpler. So when I try these three sums, you can make that out. So let's try these three sums one by one. The first sum, 457 divided by 7. So first write the dividend part, 4, 5, 7. Now you have to see the divisor. The, the base value that I can take for this divisor is 10. And see how many zeros are there in this. There's one zero. So you have to split this number leaving one place. That is one number. And now you can write the divisor part which is 7. Now what you should add to this 7 to get 10. We add 3. And now we can close this here. So the first step is you have to drag this 4 as it is. 4 3's are is 12. I'm going to write 12. Now add these two which will be 17 and 17 3's are is 51. And now add these two which will become 58. Now we can see that 58 is much more than 7. So I have to just divide this 58 by 7. 7 8's are is 56. And I have remainder as 2. So here I have to balance. So if I am balancing it, I have to leave one digit and balance it. So it will be 7 and 5. So here I have already got the remainder as 2. What is the number I have taken here as the quotient? It is 8. So that 8, I am going to just add it to this number. Plus 8. So 57 plus 8 which is 65 so I've got my answer the answer is the quotient I've got is 65 and the remainder I've got is 2 so this is my answer the second question 6851 divided by 96 first write the dividend part that is 6 8 5 the base value that I can take is 100. So how many zeros do I have? I have two zeros. So I'm going to just split this number leaving the two numbers. And here I'm going to write the divisor. So what should I add to this divisor to get 100? I add 4. But here you have to take it as 0, 4. Because two zeros, two numbers should be there. Now... I'm going to drag this 6 as it is. 6 zeros are is 0. 6 4s are is 24. 8 plus 0 is 8. Now 8 zeros are is 0. 8 4s are is 32. 24 plus 5 is 29. 32 plus 1 is 33. Here, I'm going to balance this first. So it will be 3, 12, 3. So it is 3, 2, 3, which is much more than 96. And here I have quotient as 68. Since the remainder is more than the divisor, 96, I can just check how many times of 96 is 323 or lesser than that. So if I do 96 into 
3 times 6 3s are is 80 9 3s are is 27 plus 1 is 28 so if I do it 4 times 4 6 are is 24 9 4s are 36 37 38 so it will be 380 384 which is much more so I can just take it as 96 into 3 3 times so it is 323 minus 288 5 6 or 9 is 3 so it will be 35 so I can take the remainder as 35 and since I have multiplied it with 3 I should add 3 here so 68 69 70 71 so finally my quotient to this particular question will be 71 and remainder is 35 so this is my final answer the third question 81,294 divided by 889 so here for 889 I can take 1000 as the base 1000 has 3 zeros so let me just write this 8 1 2 9 4 3 zeros so I am going to split it after 3 numbers from right side and now I have to write the divisor which is 889 in, why we call it as Nikhilam Sutra is because we are going to use all from 9 and last from 10. So here, as I told you, what should be added to 889 to get 1000? In the same way, if we use Nikhilam method, that is 1000 minus 889, it is all from 9 and last from 10 method. So here, if I subtract this, I will get 1, 1, 1. So I have 3 zeros, I have 3 numbers. So I can end it there. Now, the first digit I am going to write it as it is, which will come, it as, come as 8. 8 1s are is 8, 8 1s are is 8, 8 1s are is 8. Now, I have to add these two, which is 9. 9 1s are is 9, 9 1s are is 9, 9 1s are is 9. I have come to the last digit here, so I am going to stop it there. So, 10 plus 9 is 19, 26. 9, 10, 13. So I should have 3 numbers. That means I am going to just balance it. 3, 7, 11, 2, 2, 1, 7, 3. Now I have to check how many times is 889 will be near to 2173 or it will be 2173. So if I do 889, so 900 2 times is 1800. So I have to do only 2 times. 889. 889 into 2. 9 2s are 18, 16, 17, 17, 1778. So it is 2173 minus 1778. 5953. 3, 395. So the new remainder formed is 395. And then here, since I have taken 2. I am going to add 2 to this. It will be 91. So the answer to this question is quotient being 91 and remainder is 395. And this is my final answer. I hope this concept is clear and also this video is helpful. If so, please give me that thumbs up. For more such videos, please subscribe to my channel and support me. See you all in the next video. Thank you.